Hello boys and girls, welcome to yet another segment of story time with your children's ministry teachers. I'm Miss Greta and I get to read Win or Lose I Love You. The author is Lisa Trekhurst and it was illustrated by Jana Christie. And as you can see right away, it is a beautifully illustrated book. I just love this book. If you notice this, these are beautiful woodlands, which is where the story takes place. And we're introduced to our two main characters, Lulu and Max, who are best friends. And their personalities complement one another very nicely. And we're going to go ahead and begin the story. Come on, Max, hurry, Lulu called as she pulled her heavy wagon. Do you own anything we aren't carrying to the forest today, Lulu? Max asked. Today is field day competition to choose the leader of the forest. Lulu exclaimed. We have so many fun games for the animals to play, and we get to be the judges. But, she warned with a serious look on her face, we might have to help them. The winners will be doing happy dances, but the losers might be sad, and maybe even a little mad. Wow, they have so many items that they're taking to their field day competition. How fun! At the tall, tall tree, just past the very merry bushes, Lulu and Max found an itty bitty bear, a great big chipmunk, a masked rabbit, and a long-eared raccoon, a furry goose, and a feathered coyote. Lulu, Max whispered, the animals are all mixed up. That means it's time for contest costume contest, Lulu giggled. It does look like a costume contest. Look at they're dressed up like one another. How fun. Lulu and Max took a careful look at each costume before making a decision. Coyote wins with his clever wings, Lulu, fi Lulu finally announced. I won, I won, Coyote yelped. I'm the best. Wah, Goosey wailed. I have the best wings. My wings are real! Goosey sat on a stump and cried while the other animals tried to cheer her up. Oh, Max whispered, you were right. Goosey is being a poor loser and Coyote is being a poor winner. Lulu jumped into action. Now everyone remember, you may not win, but you must try. Sometimes you'll lose, but there's no need to cry. Win or lose, one thing that's true. No matter what, I love you. Just then, Bear Bear rushed up, nodding his head. Congratulations, he told Coyote. Then he turned to Goosey. Your beautiful wings inspired Coyote to make his costume. Isn't that super? Wow, I love the way that Bear Bear responded there. Way to be an encourager. Lulu gave every animal a beautiful stick she had decorated. It's time for the stick toss, she announced. I love my stick, Lulu, Bear Bear said. I want to keep it forever. Thanks, Bear Bear, Lulu grinned. One, two, three, throw! Whoosh! The stick sailed through the air and landed thunk, thunk, thunk on the other side of the meadow. Max ran over with the tape measure. Raccoon wins, he cried. <gasps> Look, Raccoon's the winner! So excited. Time to set up the obstacle course, Lulu announced. Raccoon, since you won the stick toss, could you please pick up the sticks? Do I have to, Raccoon whined? Don't worry, I'll help, Bear Bear told him. Now I understand why we brought all this stuff, Max said, as he and Lulu went to work. But when do we get to eat those pies? The last event is a pie tasting contest, Lulu said. I can't wait to try Bear Bear's pie. He's the best baker in the forest. Wow, looks like they're gonna have a very fun pie tasting contest later on. When the obstacle course was ready, the animals lined up. I'm definitely going to win, Coyote bragged. I'm the fastest animal in the forest. On your mark, Lulu called. 
and I've been practicing for weeks, Coyote boasted. Get set, said Max. There's nobody faster than, Coyote continued. Go, Max and Lulu yelled together. Zoom, all the animals raced off, leaving Coyote behind. I think Coyote was a little bit distracted. Wait, not fair, Coyote cried. I wasn't ready. Go, Coyote, hurry, Lulu urged him. Coyote scrambled to catch up. He passed Bear Bear at the Hulu Hoop Loop. Chipmunk, right there, you see Chipmunk right there? At the Tinsel Tunnel. And Rabbit at the Raised Rock. Only Goosey was still ahead of him. Coyote pushed forward with all his might, but it was too late. Goosey crossed the finish line and won the race. Goosey wins, hooray, Lulu, Lulu cheered. Goosey's the winner. No, Coyote howled. I wanted to win. He stomped over to the pie table and kicked it as hard as he could. Crash, crunch, smash. The pie splattered all over the meadow, turning it into a sticky, icky mess. Worst of all, there wasn't a single Mary Berry pie left for the pie tasting contest. Oh, Coyote, Lou said sadly, what have you done? Oh, Coyote, what have you done? Coyote hung his head. No one knew what to say. Until Bear Bear stepped forward, we can clean this mess, he announced. We'll get some water and soap. I have some sponges in my burrow, Rabbit chimed in. That's just what we need, Bear Bear said. Soon clouds of bubbles filled the air. As everyone worked together, all the animals were laughing and having fun, except one. Oh, goodness. I think I see the one who wasn't having fun right there. Coyote's not having fun. Maybe he still feels really bad about how he acted. Lulu found Coyote in the cleaning in the clearing by himself. It's okay to lose, you know, Lulu began. Sometimes you'll lose. Other times you'll win. What matters most is how you treat your friends. I ruin field day, Coyote said miserably. I'm the worst animal in the forest. Lulu hugged him. Coyote, you've behaved badly, but you aren't bad. What can you do to make things better? Coyote knew just what he needed to do. You see Coyote and Lulu comforting him? Coyote took a deep breath and walked over to the animals. I'm sorry for taking the fun out of field day, he said. I wanted to win so badly that I forgot how to be a good sport and a good friend. I was a poor sport too, Goosey said. I'm sorry. Bear, bear, Coyote said. You were so excited about the pie tasting contest. I'm sorry I ruined it. Bear, bear smiled. I forgive you, Coyote. We don't have any pies left, but we can still have a picnic. Wow. It's like they're going to have a picnic, guys. All the animals munched on the very merry berries Lulu brought. Rabbit asked, who will be the leader of the forest? Coyote, raccoon, and Goosey tried. I guess the judges will have to choose, Chipmunk said. A leader's job is to make things better, Lulu said. Even though others won contests, Bear Bear made field day better for everyone. He worked hard all day long. He was kind and encouraging, friendly to everyone, and forgiving. And forgiving, Coyote added. That's right, forgiving. Aww. Lulu and Max bent their heads together and spoke so quietly that no one could hear them. At last, it was time for the big announcement. Bear Bear, we think 
you should be the leader of the forest. Me, Bear Bear guessed in amazement. When all the animals cheered, it was clear they agreed. Thanks, everybody, Bear Bear said. A lot of responsibility comes with winning and with losing, and especially with being a leader. I promise I will always do my best. Who wants to watch the sunset from the tall, tall tree? We do, everyone cried. Aww. Wow. As the animals climbed the tall, tall tree, they turned Lulu's lesson into a song and sang together. You may not win, but you must try. Sometimes you'll lose, but there's no need to cry. Win or lose, one thing that's true, no matter what, I love you. Isn't that a beautiful lesson, boys and girls? No matter what, we may lose, we may win, but we've got to try. We need to be grateful because the things that really matter are our constants. And you know who always loves us no matter what? God. God loves us more than anything. In fact, this story was inspired by many of these verses that are listed here. There are too many to, to list, but these are from God as well because God's word is from him. I'll just go ahead and read a couple to them, to you, and then we'll go ahead and, and conclude our time. One of them is, do to others as you would have others do to you. That's Luke 6, 31. And one other one is, above all, love each other deeply, because love covers a multitude of sins. That's from 1 Peter 4, 8. Well, God bless you, boys and girls. I truly hope you enjoyed that story, and I hope you have a wonderful day.